Namaste, everyone. I'm Jenny G. And thank you for tuning into my channel. In order to get content and videos, you have to subscribe to that little button right down there in the corner. See that little red button that says subscribe in order to get notifications on videos. Okay, so I'm going to talk about this new moon in Taurus. That's coming up here on May 19th. And before I even get started, I want to wish my dad happy birthday. May his spirit rest in peace. May the rose roads rise to meet you, dad. So still thinking about you. And also to my friend Claire and Tom, who share the same birthday as my dad. So Happy May 19th, you guys. So, and if you're watching this video, I want you to make comments, Claire and Tom. I doubt Tom will be watching, but Claire might. <laughs> so if you are, happy birthday. And I know my dad's with me in spirit, of course, as I see all signs from him. So anyways, now this new moon, now new moons are very powerful, they're more powerful than a full moon because they're new. Now, before anything, just please monitor your animals because your animals, of course, they get really, really affected with the energy of the new moon. If you notice, there's a lot more animals and people that do cross over around the new moon. Even my dad, he passed on the new moon. So it's kind of interesting, actually, I might get a little message here from him, that he passed away on the new moon as we're, just, as we're talking about May 19th being his birthday and the new moon. So now Taurus is all about sensuality and passion and, and they like the good things. They, they like, you know, like materialistic things and such like that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. However, you are going to find that during this new moon that, you know, Jenny, I wanted to buy that Mercedes. I, but, you know, I just, it's just me. I like luxurious things and, and such like that, <laughs> right? If you're able to go for it, why not, right? However, this is going to be a moon where you're going to start to see a little bit more reality with things. You're going to start to see that, you know, hmm. Do I really need a Mercedes or would I be okay with, you know, maybe just getting a Honda? <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm just saying. So certain things that are very luxurious. I mean, if you're able to do it, that is wonderful. Why not? However, you're going to be doing some more pondering on that. You're going to be wanting more stability during this new moon as well. So for those of you who are like, you know, I'm a little worried about my job or I'm a little worried about all of my debt or, you know, I have a business and it's not like, it's not like exploding with huge, huge, huge money falling from the sky onto my lap. Right. That'd be nice. We can always do the prosperity dance and the abundant dance, of course. Right. But I'm just saying now this moon, new moon is going to want to ground you. It's going to want to ground you. We still have that Taurus stellium for the whole month as well. And it's really, really important for you to take a few steps backwards and just re-ground yourself. Taurus is the earth. Taurus likes to be grounded. So you really have to ground yourself and slow and steady will win the race. Don't forget. Keep working towards your goals. Keep writing down your vision board. And you're also going to start to come to terms with more of who you are. So if you wanted to be a huge CEO of a company and you're like, you know, I want to keep on getting that promotion and, and so on and so on and building my business. And so keep going for it. However, this new moon is going to want you to be more balanced. This new moon is going to be making things difficult for you if you have a tantrum of, why can't I have this? Or why can't I have that luxurious vacation? Or why can't I have that money falling from the sky? That kind of thing. All right. Stop fighting with the cosmic energy. We all have different cycles and, and times when we have 
things coming in and things leaving. That's the flow. That's the flow. We all have different cycles we go through. And whenever I do a reading on someone, I read it to your level of consciousness to see where you're at and expand it with that point on a psychic clairvoyant medium. So when you see somebody that's doing really well, be really happy for that person. Be really happy for them. For goodness sakes, your time will come. We all have different cycles. We all have different karmic footprints that we have to walk upon or that we might need to clear to get us to where we want to go to. So you're going to find that you're going to want to even more so commit to your personal goals. So keep writing those goals down on your vision board, like whatever it is, if you want like that Mercedes, write it down on that vision board, write it down and surrender it, surrender it, work towards it if you'd like that thing, but you're going to start to love yourself even more. It's so important because when you start to love yourself as is, then you're not just going to settle with just any one or any situation this new moon is going to help you with that don't force it don't push it push it push it stay in the modality of being positive because if you surround yourself with negative people people who live out of fear you are going to become that who is dragging you down who is draining your energy you guys pay attention to that really that's very important and always set boundaries on it. You're going to be really doing a lot of reviewing on things. And, and it, when you're in alignment with your soul and listening to your soul, you're going to let your ego go. Ego's all about fear. Ego's all about, you know, I want this. I want to control that. And now, or, oh my God, you can't do this. You can't do that. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let it go. Live in the modality of your of your soul. Walk your true footprints. This energy is going to really show you how to walk your footprints. Now we have the energy with harmony with the moon and Neptune and Pluto. So you're going to find that, you know, I'm surrendering this, Jenny. I'm just, I'm going to start loving myself as is. You're going to start to feel more inspired. You might all of a sudden start thinking about that creative project. You're going to be like, you know, I'm going to start working on my projects again. Or I'm going to start maybe gravitating and making changes with this and making changes with that. And for those photographers, new moons, great night for the stars as long as it's not cloudy, right? So it's really important to try to let fears go. I've seen and I've heard from different people. They're completely and utterly freaked out about world events. That's why I, I, I get asked to go on shows and do predictions and such like that. So there's always different negativity. There's always negativity. There's always stuff going on in the world, of course, even more so now as you all can see. However, if you start hanging around with people that are going to create that fear in your mind, oh, you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't go there. Oh, my God. The island's going to sink. Or, oh, my God, you, you better take all of your money out of your bank. The bank's going to close. This is going to happen. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. It's going to stunt your growth. It's going to stop you from walking your soul's purpose and destiny if you stay in alignment with fear. I had people running away. I had people moving away, leaving where they're at because they're so scared of fear. Because someone put the love of God's fear into their mindset. And it has completely unbalanced them. My goodness, you guys, come on. Right. So it's being very mindful of what's going on. And this is why you can take advantage of this new moon and ground yourself with the energy of Taurus. Get in touch with the earth. You know, you might see some land prices that and metals and such like that that are going to be more valuable as well. You're going to see how things are going to start to balance out a little bit with the economy, with inflation and certain things like that. 
rather than going into the fear zone, just really, really pay attention to what is going on around you. Okay, so there's a lot of, we have Jupiter in here right now too, with Pluto, which represents government and power and such like that. And as I've been talking about for months and months and months, how there is no true leadership, because if there was, we wouldn't be going through this as it is and experiencing what we are, because your government would make humanity feel more safe, feel more abundant, and have the inflation down and so on. And so yeah, they can do that. They have the power to do that. But they don't care about that. They only are pocketing money for themselves, right? So we're not going to talk about that because it's negative. We want to keep the vibe high. We want to keep the vibe very, very, very positive. So this energy too with the new moon with Pluto, it's going to bring up situation with taxes and money and, and all of those kinds of things. And it gives you that time to say, you know, I'm going to start budgeting some money. You know, for those of you who aren't working, you're going to start to see that you very well might even find something, start to find something for yourself. You're going to find that, you know, I used to like doing this career. Hmm. I'm getting bored of that. Or it's just not working for me anymore. When you ask your soul and let your ego go, let your ego go, transcend your ego into love. You're going to see results. You're going to get those messages coming through. Because you're going to hear all kinds of secrets being exposed as well. I mean, we've seen and heard a lot as it is more medically about a bunch of stuff that is not being truthful. Coming to fruition, it has. And it's going to continue to do so. And one of the beautiful alignments I love of this full moon or this new moon as well is the U.S., will have its borders open by then. So yay for the unvaccinated, yay. So I can actually start looking at my travels. So exciting, so exciting. So it really comes down to how you go about the energy, how you go about dealing with things. And Mercury retrograde ended on the 14th and the 15th of May. However, we still have that postpartum, as I call it, of Mercury retrograde for the next couple of weeks as well. So just kind of take it a little easy. Communication will be a little better. You know, there won't be as much technical issues and such like that that we've been dealing with. You might have really um made some decisions about certain things and situations and with that eclipse moon holy or eclipse my god goodness sakes it really shook things up didn't it like you guys so just pay more attention even your your body's going to be a little bit more sensitive like your neck and your throat um your thyroid your glands adam's apple all these different body parts during this new moon might be a little bit more sensitive and also for your animals as well so you might find that your animals are going to be a little bit more clingy 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 to you during this new moon as well and as we have seen it with the eclipse moon tune it, it has really thrown things for a loop as well so you're going to find that you're going to want to be more loyal to certain friends it could be family you could have found that um, if you were like having squabbles with them arguments that has started to kind of fade a little bit more and you are like you know what I'm just letting the situation go now I'm just letting them go I'm not going to connect with toxic energy I'm not going to be connecting with energy that is dragging me down i'm not going to connect with people who are not good for my soul that's a part of the lessons that we all share karmically we have karma to clear our karmic footprints to clear family friends business lots of different connections as well so that's why i give you the steps on how to resolve issues in past life readings as well so there is love going to be in the air. Taurus is all about that passion and sensuality. For those of you who got it going on, get it going on. <laughs> Why not, right? Totally take advantage of it. So sensuality could be painting as well. What are you really passionate about? 
that energy with the new moon very well could spark that for you too. When you're doing something you love doing, doesn't matter what it is. Could be singing, could be writing, could be doing a workout, whatever it is. Follow what feels right for you. Follow what you enjoy doing. Bring out that inner child. We've been going through that healing, ancestral healing, clearing karmic situations, letting it go, letting it go, letting the drama go, walking away from it, not wanting to be a part of it, letting the rhythm and the flow go to where it's just flowing like that, just like that rather than being a part of it, stuck in the middle of God knows where with no help and no GPS, no nothing. And, and even if you were, you would be silent. You would be quiet. You would hear those messages. The more time you spend alone in silence, in quiet time for you, the more messages you're going to start to hear from spirit and your soul. That's a blessing and that's a gift. As long as you're looking at reality and not creating your illusions and your fantasies and the glamour over it. This is why it's very important to balance the yin and the yang, the positive and the negative, the soul versus the ego, the ego versus the soul. What direction do you want to go in? Do you want to gravitate towards your, your soul and live in the modality of the right intentions from your heart and see clarity? And stay more in alignment with things. Surrender what is not working for you anymore. Surrendering what you don't resonate with anymore. Surrendering toxic habits and situations. Or are you going to get stuck in the modality of fear with your ego? There is no judgment. So when you are seeing somebody that says, you know what, I'm going to stay in this relationship, even if you can see it's toxic, don't judge that person. They have their own footprints, karmic footprints to walk with that person. It's karmic. They have situations that they either clear with that person or they'll continue on that path with that person until they're ready to surrender. Please don't judge anyone. You have no right. You're not perfect. You have your own journey. You should be worrying more about yourself. Are you perfect? Seriously, let judgment go. The number one law of the universe is do not judge anyone. Don't ever, ever judge. So this new moon can really work with you as long as you listen to your soul and not your ego. It's time to transcend your ego and quantum leaps and let it go, right? Listen to your soul. When you listen to your soul, that's you. That's you. That is you. So on that note, I'm going to pull a couple of cards from spirit, as I say, and um Whenever you guys use any cards, make sure you knock them three times on wood to clear your energy or whoever used it last time. And I never use cards um, when I have a session with someone because I'm a clairvoyant, psychic medium, animal communicator, past life, Akashic record, relationship coach, meditation teacher, pranic healer. Anyways, anyways. <laughs> um, so I don't use cards, but because we're doing this collectively, I'm going to pull a couple of cards. So if you'd like to book a reading with me, soulworkwithjenny.com. Or you can catch me on my new show on the Conscious Awakening Network every fourth Saturday of the month and have a reading there as well. So let's ask Spirit, what is the message for this new moon in Taurus on May the 19th? Now it's also known as the Black New Moon as well, guys. So there's different, there's different names. So what is the message from spirit? What is the message from spirit for the May 19th? May 19th for me has always been very interesting, by the way. I'm always intrigued and interested to see what happens on the May 19th for me. It's usually something pretty, pretty.
pretty nice, pretty good. So, um, and it's not just because it's my dad's birthday, but um, I, I don't know. It's just very interesting to say the least. Oh, love, love is in the air. If you are open, love is in the air. So anyways, let's see. Whoa, oh, 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 hold on, you guys. All right. Nope. Yeah, we got it. So I'm not going to pull those cards because too many came out. So what is the message from Spirit for May 19th? I'll, I'll move myself up a little bit here. What's the message from Spirit? Wow. Oh, wow. 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 So um, this card, um, it's very interesting, needless to say. So this card here is such an amazing card. Um because uh, I'll tell you a little story what happened to me. Um, so as I'm, I was unpacking because um, I decided not to move. <laughs> Long story. And um, one of my boxes I had was from my Irish wolfhound McTavish who had passed on years ago. And um, I have inside the box his ashes and um and the urn and his collar and also the ashes of my other dog and their collars right so i showed my i i put actually the collars of my other dogs to my current dog bella and she didn't even really she smelled them but didn't acknowledge really anything you know however when i brought out mctavish's collar and I, I showed it to her. She started immediately wagging her tail. How amazing is that? There's a long story behind it. I'm not going to go on about it. Um, but it's extraordinary. And it's one of the reasons why I have her. She, no, she's not an Irish wolfhound. She's a King Charles Cavalier Spaniel. But there's more to it. I had a dream about her with McTavish in it. And then I found her. And it's a long story. It's a long story. Um so this card here, the return, look at that. Look at the little dog coming through, coming through. Wow. So which means that on the 19th, you know how I said the new moon, the new moon is a big big day and a big oops, and a big time for animals to be passing so keep that in mind if you hear of other people's animals passing through passing on meaning or especially pay attention to your animal if um you're concerned because the animal is acting different or doesn't look well or whatever of course always bring your animal to the vet so i'm also an animal communicator too by the way um but there's a sign there that you very well could get a little message. Somebody's returning. Somebody is coming back to you. Or somebody is saying, hello, I'm with you to bring you back. They're going to return you back home to God. Look at that little dog there. My other little dog, Nikita, uh, we named her when I was living in Ireland, the wee white doggy. And she was a little white dog. So it's kind of cool how... Um, this little card came up. I have another message here, by the way, um, that I'm hearing. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be watching the video. I don't really want to say a name. Um, but they have a little dog like this. And um, they had another little dog that they had to give away like this, that looked very similar. And just know that this little dog is thinking of you both. So I'm not gonna say your name, of course, but if you're watching this, you know who you are. Um, all I will say is your husband was one of my cameramen. So you'll know who you are, one of my cameramen. Who well, also, by the way, they're wonderful people. So um, anyways, we're going to pull another card 
um, from spirit, as I call it. And um, we're going to have a little chat with the angels, ascended masters, to see what they have to say. So what is the message from the new moon for May 19th? What is the message? Wow. Did you see that card go? Okay. Um, find the blessing in your current situation always, always. So do you know how there's negative events always, right? It's really important to take a look and see the blessing in it. Like the other day when I was, I was on a show talking about predictions and such. And um, I was giving a lot of positive predictions because there's too many negative predictions. There, there's too many fear, 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 fear predictions. So it's always really important to take a look at whatever negative situation is going on and see the blessing in it. See the gift in it. How are you going to take a negative situation and turn it around to a positive situation? When you start to do that, you're going to start to see the gifts and the blessings with that. Because whenever there's any crises, you can really have that transcend through to a major breakthrough. Depends where your level of consciousness is, where your awareness is. Very important. Very important. Oh, and, and how interesting. I'm wearing... Um, Krishna, I'm wearing my little Ganesh shirt here too, by the way. See, my little Ganesh shirt, um, which is my little Ganesh here at the back. So how beautiful. So always see the current blessing in your situation, you guys. It's, it's, it's very, very, very important. And I kept on hearing Arizona as well um, coming through. Um, and it's interesting because here's one of my crystals. This one is very heavy, by the way. It's a red jasper. It's very very is very heavy um and i kept on hearing arizona before i was even doing this video so this is why i grabbed one of my crystals so you can see this arizona reminds me of the red rock the beautiful red rock like when i lived in colorado um i loved the red rock and i'd go horseback riding on the garden of the gods if you google garden of the gods it's one of the most beautiful places and i miss horseback riding there but this energy here can really ground you, like red jasper as well, um, especially with this being a Taurus new moon. The red jasper can also give you that feeling of being more earthy, being more grounded for protection as well. There's always lots of positive properties in crystals. And that's why it's, it's really, really important to um, listen to and pay attention to what you gravitating towards with your crystals, right? If it's because crystals, there's always messages in it. Like right away, like that crystal there, I heard Arizona coming through right away. So that's why I grabbed that because I communicate with crystals. I'm very, very sensitive, right? So on that note, we're going to pull a crystal card, right? To see what messages um, we're hearing from the land of the crystals, Atlantis and Lemurian days. Actually, I do have one of my Lemurian crystals here, by the way. So anyways, I could go on and ramble on forever, but I'm not going to bore you guys, right? So um, tell me what crystals you guys like, by the way. And, and under the new moon, full moon, new moon, make sure you put your crystals on the ledge of your window where the moon is going to come down on it. If you put them outside, Put them outside as long as you're not going to get stolen or, you know, they're in a place where you're like, you know what, I'm not sure if somebody's going to take them, then don't. If you put them on your window ledge, open your drapes and have that energy of the moon come down, it cleanses them too. Cleanses them. So what is the energy and message from the new moon, May 19th? What's the energy and message from the crystals? The message from the crystal. Whoa. Okay, that fell down. One's over here away. Wow, this kind of, oh my God, I just saw this. Like, ding, ding, ding. Like, okay, do you know how I just said that this new moon is also known as the black new moon? <laughs> Does that not look like a black new moon? Like, oh my goodness, right? That's so cool. New might. New might. <laughs> Probably pronouncing that wrong, but I don't care. Um, but see, Look at that. Look at that. And it kind of looks like that asteroid energy too, by the way. Now we still have solar flares and ascension symptoms too. 
So that will throw you off. That can literally throw you off where you're feeling headachy, where you're feeling like, oh my God, I'm so tired or, or really thirsty, or I'm really like anxious or nervous or whatever. Pay attention to your body. A lot of times it, it very well can be like solar flares and such cosmic energies. That's why I do my weekly cosmic vibes videos as well. I tell you what day is, is um, you could be feeling and sensing this, what days is not a good day to do certain things that certain days to manifest in, in general, why are you feeling like you are and what's going on, right? So you have to subscribe to Jenny to see those videos, mind you, but look how cool that is, right? Look at that black moon. Right. Of all, see, I tell you, when spirit has a message, they're going to say it, right? So we're just going to pull, um, um, let's pull an animal from one of my animal decks here, actually, because this energy does affect your animals, right? So let us get a message from the animal kingdom for the May new moon energy. What's the message from the animal kingdom? And we actually already did with that little white doggy, little wee white doggy, I should say. What's the message from the animal kingdom? And it's also a really good time to balance your emotions and try to let go of anxiety and power and such like that. You know, new moons can really bring a lot of your emotions and anxieties to the surface and trigger you. So whenever you start to get triggered, really write down what it is um, you're trying to push and you're trying to force. Because if you push push force anything it's not going to work with you so what's the message from our animal kingdom you're going to find you're going to be a little bit more realistic as well with things so um how interesting that um this card fell down it's the snake shed your skin rebirth transformation healing be renewed and transformed. Green is also the heart chakra. Green is also for healing. Green is for earth with spring coming. Well, spring, I actually, I got really, really excited because I started to see the grass starting to come up here just recently in Canada, like just the other day. And I'm like, oh my God, like we are starting to get grass in. Oh my, I was excited. The littlest things, but see, pay attention to the snakes. Well, I mean, don't go looking for snakes, right? But but that's the message from our animal kingdom. Every animal has a right to be here, right? I mean, you know, animals are all beautiful in their own way. And they talk to us in their own way if you're open to receive. So I want to know what's going on with you guys for this new moon. Um, what are you struggling with? What are you trying to let go of? And let go of what you're trying to force because this energy here is going, it wants you to move more into your soul and transcend ego into soul. So you can be more in aligned. All right. So wishing you a beautiful, beautiful new moon. And I will chat with you guys later. Namaste. Namaste, everyone. I'm Jenny G. I'm an international known clairvoyant psychic medium, past life Akashic record, animal communicator, relationship coach, meditation teacher, and so on. I am here to tell you there is some exciting news. I'm revamping my YouTube channel. That's right. There's new content coming out weekly. I'm going to talk about the weekly cosmic vibes, what you're experiencing and why, how to utilize that and giving you the reasons behind it. We're going to talk about the new moon, the full moon, Mercury retrograde, and I'm going to give you those insights, how to manifest 
and make things happen for you at the right time. It's time, everyone. It's time to wake up this planet. Let's show some love and compassion. Let the fear go. Let the negativity go. Let's do this together and transcend your soul in quantum leaps. I'll be here. Where are you? Hit that red button at the corner there. Subscribe to my channel and let's make this happen. Let's do this now. Namaste.